I'm really excited for people to meet Chope because I feel like we landed on our feet with him. He's a rock star already in the making. We gave him things within this show that we had absolutely no right expecting him to achieve and do. We could do that punch, we can get pushed into that wall. He's all great. I'm probably going to be the founder of his fan club after this. Play it back. Who the f are you? Elliot, I work for Jim. Who the f Jim? But nobody, just play it back. I think I recognize that van. The very first shot we see of him is reaching into the gutter to pull out some bribe money. We don't know where the money came from or what it represents, but we just know that this guy is at the lower rungs of this organization. Now your place. Elliot's come in at a very low level to try and infiltrate the crime bosses at the highest level. So he started by being a street grunt, doing the little deals and pickups that low-level criminals have to do. And we get to tell the story of the rise of this character who becomes more and more prominent, more and more important to a family as the things that he learns on the streets and on the ground level ends up helping Sean find out the mystery of who killed Finn Wallace. But well, I've got orders to take you to Sean. So who would you rather talk to, me or him? It's a combination of opportunity and putting himself in the right position that he's been able to present himself as a useful asset to the Wallace family. One of the important things for us with Elliot was setting up this idea of him being like a sleeping tiger. And so he finally has this opportunity to shine. He has this little piece of information that is incredibly important to the higher ups of the organization. So he becomes this tornado, this explosion that happens inside the pub where he works his way through all of the people that have taken out the rest of the Wallace guys. Elliot's relationship with Sean goes on a massive journey throughout the series. Get him outside. No, no, he stays. In the first episode, Sean doesn't know who he is. He's literally anybody. And Elliot uses that moment to give Sean what he's looking for in terms of someone he can trust, and someone he can rely on, and someone who's not going to betray him. What was it? Six of them? Oh, eight. But I had a dart, so... And so that whole section of his story was a real unique opportunity to kind of, like, buy into this guy as the lone hero. I just come to collect someone. So the real Elliot that you more. only glimpse at certain times through the show, because a lot of the time, Elliot is mixing with various gangsters and police, and he's putting on a certain facade, so you get used to it, and you almost think this is who Elliot is. Open the door! Tell him! Shut him! So we really play him as a cowboy, and the fact that there are things about him that we're not privy to, there are secrets about him that we don't get to know, and the thrill of the show is getting to find out all of those things. You're an unknown quantity, boy, and my judgment has a lot of weight. We set up this relationship between Elliot and Shannon, Ed Damani's daughter, so she is sort of like an untouchable character. He's with me. I mean, she sees him instantly. As soon as they catch eyes, she knows. They just lock eyes on each other very early on, but you can see that there's an attraction for sure. Sorry. And it develops really beautifully. They develop feelings for each other, and he's different to guys that she's been around before. It becomes very clear very quickly that while she's also good for his undercover work, he feels that she's good for him personally as well. It's two years since my wife and child died. They've both experienced loss. She lost her mother and he's lost his wife and child. So I think she feels a really deep connection to him quite quickly because there's an immediate common ground. You think this is a good idea? What was really important was avoiding anything that didn't feel real. <laughs> Elliot is the character who's lost his wife and child and he's very driven by that. But we wanted to make sure that love could come from a real place. And obviously Shannon has a son, Danny, reminiscent of his son. So he wants to protect them. I think he's motivated by his passion to do the right thing, but I also think he's hiding. He's running away from something. He's running away from the grief of losing his wife and child, his family. And rather than dealing with that grief, he is putting on a different persona. You can't run away from it forever, you know? So it's important that we start to get different versions of where he's headed, because he started out an undercover cop. He's becoming very involved in this criminal organization. He's Sean's right-hand man, so he's in a very difficult place. You're going to get through this. And when you do, do you want all of this taken away from you by some cop? And we intentionally play it quite ambiguous to know where Elliot's going to end up. Get in the car. DCI Finch. So is he still a cop? Has he been compromised? And if there was more story to tell in season two, where is that going to lead him?